All right, it is time for another uh, installment of strange, weird comments that I've gotten on some of my videos. <laughs> These are always fun to go through. I, I always have to save some that are just so bizarre and so weird. It's just like, okay, you're kind of not, you know, whatever. You'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, first of all, I'll show you this one. Just thought this was an interesting thing. The, the views, the comments, the thumbs ups and the thumbs downs are all, you know, ones. 111 you know, views, 11 comments, 11 thumbs up, one thumbs down. <laughs> thought that was kind of interesting. Nothing real significant there, but thought that was kind of a neat thing. I saw it at that point. Next one, we have this one here. I'm going to have to be um, you know, bleeping out some of this stuff here. This is my video on, um, uh, I was asking the followers of Steven Anderson, you know, could you please leave the profanity out of the comments? Steve? Steve, excuse me, Steven Anderson, he cusses, uses profanity, which is ironic because those of us that have gotten saved that had foul mouths before our salvation, it's one of the first things that gets cleaned up. All of a sudden, you stop using profanity. And, you know, if you let a word slip, it's like, oh, man, you know, this is the basic thing of being a Christian. You don't swear. But, I, you know, I get sick and tired of these Steven Anderson followers, and they just use profanity like, they cuss like sailors. But uh, this guy, he's here to prove that, you know, he's a follower of Stephen Anderson, but, you know, whatever. He's a fine Christian. Look at this. Antonius Labrac commented, Damn is not a bad word. It's in the Bible. You piss me off, idiot. Okay? <laughs> not using the proper wording there, pisseth against the wall. It's talking about urinating. Uh, using the word piss as a cuss word. Then he goes on to say, you're an idiot and you're racist. Okay? Because <laughs> I'm asking people, don't use profanity in the comments. That makes me a racist. Then he says, you need to shut the bleep up, you racist bleep. This is a Christian rebuking me. Okay. Yeah, sure. Next one. Pastor Anderson is a righteous man of truth, and these demonic antichrist Jews are bleeping their pants out of fear as they know it's just a matter of time before the rest of the world awakens to their vicious lies and satanic agenda. Again, I find one of the fine followers of Stephen Anderson. He's a man of truth, <laughs> you know. Now we have the one on the, the Amish exposed here. Kimmy Middleton, you're a teacher, a Bible teacher, and you can't or won't counsel on Christian sexuality. Why is that off limits for you? Obviously, judging others is well within your wheelhouse. You better recheck your scripture. You are so not preaching biblically. Okay, she's a fine Christian. She's going to correct me here. In all seriousness, you should double check your facts before you make false statements about Catholicism. You are batting about 20% truth, 80% complete falsehoods. Next, she says, you have no clue what off-limits means. <laughs> okay, now I'm bleeped off. Here's some profanity for you. Bleep off. I'm a Catholic and a Christian, and we are not a cult. But thank you for trying. Um, What's your name? Oh, yes, thanks, Satan. Uh, I swear to God, if I hear you say, just like Roman Catholicism, one more time, this Catholic girl is going to go find the nearest Mormon with a temple recommend and arrange a preterm baptism for the dead in your name. <laughs> then she next says, Dude, you are doing a review on an Amish book. Lay off the Catholicism comments. Every religion has, every religion has flaws, and so does every Christian. So apparently you have not read the manual, the Bible, thoroughly, first and foremost. Jesus didn't make a bad, or make a habit of running around judging people. <laughs> okay, Matthew 23, read that sometime. He loved them. Have you also missed the part about how he chose his disciples. And lastly, my man, you have quite obviously missed the humility part that is rather scathingly evident that he who is without sin, well, you know the rest. Or do you? Perhaps a cold, honest, hard, honest look. Uh, yeah, okay. Sure. Uh... Then, Harry, we have another one from the same woman. She says, uh, Now you really need to bleep off. I personally have been an in, inpatient in various mental health facilities. 
I went voluntarily each time, and three of those were in a Catholic hospital, mother bleeper. You listen and listen well. There is not and has never been in recent history any evil intent in any facility I was in. As a matter of fact, they saved my life. You are in no way, shape, or form an expert or even well informed on mental health. Be careful where you tread, brother. If you give any form of your diatribe to any poor soul suffering from a mental health issue and you misinform them about all mental health, treatments are evil and they do not receive the help they need and God forbid that they take their own life. Guess who will be charged with homicide, manslaughter, or at the very, at the very least? That's right, bleep. Um, you, wow, are you really that determined to go to hell? Because right now, especially with this last ignorant statement, uh, you are sounding a lot like Satan's right-hand man. man. I thought I was Satan there earlier. Anyone who hears you make this terrible, horrific statement and is not offended is one deluded, psychotic individual, much like yourself. Your parents must be so bleeping ashamed of you again, you are nothing but a disgusting, vile, rotten, perverted piece of bleep. I mean, you can feel the love just coming from that comment. I mean, I don't have love, but she does. Catholics, you know, boy, I'll tell you what. Such love comes from, and, you know, and, and I'm here I am, I'm so evil and so bad and everything else, and uh, yet they're putting her in mental facilities and messing her head up and stuff. Probably got her on drugs and whatever else, too. Next, we have Judith Carlone Levi. She says, she's a prophetess. I remember this. Um, this is the most horrible ministry I have ever visited. <laughs> Coming from you, I take that as a compliment. The fruit of this ministry is hateful and condescending, not at all Christ-like. Okay, again, not reading much scripture, apparently. There is an attitude of self-righteousness and haughtiness and stiff neck syndrome. Okay. I will say prayer for all you ugly souls. We're hateful, okay? We're the ones that are hating, but she calls us ugly souls. May Jesus have mercy on you. I am anointed. You will pay for your disrespect to me. I officially give you and all your bad fruit to the Father. She's anointed. Look out. Anointed prophet that's coming through. Okay, now we have Shaw. Brother's girl here writes, Brian Denlinger, it's spelled with a Y there, not B-R-I, it's a Y, B-R-I-Y, and Brian Denlinger, I have to tell you that your attitude, I won't even say that word, you're supposed to be a Christian and the aura I am getting from you is very prideful aura. It's like you have an ignorant, just sarcastic aura, and it's not good. You need to repent from this, Brian Denlinger, before it's too late. Now, that's the first time I've ever been corrected, not with scripture or with feelings, but I have the wrong kind of aura around me, you know. Sure. Gabriel Schlaff Esquire, I guess, ESQ there. Money isn't evil, he says here. It takes money to widespread the true gospel. You're judging him because he monetizes his, his videos. Who cares? You have no clue what Robert Breaker does with the money. That's his and God's business. Disabling comments is one of the smartest things anyone can do. Why would someone want to give a platform for evil? Why would anyone want to open their page and expose themselves to stupidity and garbage for the sake of garbage? It's like common it's just common sense to disable the comments so one can focus on what's really important. Grow up, you're acting like a little school schoolgirl. Be a man, don't be a bleep. Fine followers of Stephen Anderson use profanity, and also Robert Breaker use profanity. Nothing but the finest. Christ follower. Here we go. Listen up, Husky, and listen real good. You are a racist, homophobic, Islamophobic, white supremacist, neo-Nazi bigot. Stop attacking Robert Breaker. We all know you don't like him because he's 25% Native American Indian. Stop with your racist hate. You are a false Christian. Learn to follow Christ for once in your pitiful life. Okay, buddy? <laughs> I mean, it's just like, okay, you know, you hateful. I hate your guts. You're, 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 you hate people, and that's wrong, because, and I hate you for hating people. All right. Got me there. 
uh, David98 underscore 10. Um, do one more video about Robert Breaker. I will come there. I will come where you live and beat your little bleep. Shut the bleep up already. Yeah, boy. This one's pretty good. You know, the channel here, Cardinal Denlinger. Now, you know, if you're going to put my head, superimpose my head onto a you know body or something, I mean, you really kind of made the head a little bit too small. I mean, you can see my head's pretty big, you know. Do a little bit better next time, okay? I can you know, appreciate that more, you know. <laughs> next we have uh, Ray Lou Salado replied, Denlinger will not listen. He defines those who are saved and who rightly divide as those who agree with him. And his wife is a creepy cook who thinks cats talk to her. I'm afraid for their poor. I couldn't get the rest of the thing. Poor child. You know, they always, oh, I'm afraid for their son Oliver. Yeah, watch the videos with Oliver and he's really unhappy. You know, just our poor little boy, you know. But uh, she's a creepy cook? <laughs> what? His wife is a creepy cook who thinks cats talk to her. Okay, uh, if you're a pet owner, you know, and you have cats and stuff, you know, sometimes a cat gets weirded out around other people and stuff. You know, that's what my wife was talking about in her testimony. Her, she went into this one landlady and it was like she was nuts and my wife's cat just like freaked out and stuff. And she said, my wife, you know, she, my wife talked about it in her testimony and she said, you know, my cat was like trying to tell me, yeah, this woman's, you know, crazy. It doesn't mean that my wife actually said that she sees her cat's mouth moving and words coming out, you know, but a creepy cook, huh? Never heard that one. So well, that was one of our favorites. We like that one. Ah. Telephone ringing here. Be right back. All right, I'm back. <laughs> you know, what perfect timing. I'm reading stupid comments on my channel and I get a call from a telemarketer. Uh, okay, now we have a very spiritual, <clears throat> charismatic, okay? Um, Hebrews 6, 9 through 13. Got to bleep out a bunch of stuff here. Oh, my bleeping goodness, bleep this. I rebuke this in Jesus' name. <laughs> it's just like, huh? You know? And here's, this is a good one too, you know. It's just comments on my channel, you know, different videos I put out, you know, and just like the, the various opinions you get from people, you know. You have Luke Richards saying, disgusting. Right underneath, Ben Ben Stone commented, brilliant <laughs> you know so to the one i'm disgusting to the other i'm brilliant all right you know next we have uh <clears throat> terence kid jesus is black no question it's something not right with white people how the sun don't like y'all how can something god created to give life to his creation kill y'all if white people stand in the sun for too long it will fry y'all, and if black people stand in the sun, it will embrace us. We become darker. <clears throat> to whoever believe this guy, I pray that you hang knowledge and get full understanding of what's really the truth. Something ain't right with white people. 99% of y'all come to steal, kill, and destroy, or divide and conquer. Sounds like the words, works of Satan to me. <laughs> I mean... I got to tell you, it's sunny outside. I'm running out there getting my stuff because it's just like, whoosh, I'm just burned up just like that. Boom, you know. Ah, yeah, okay. That's probably the works of satin. Yeah, walk it out, watch out for that satin. It'll get you every time. And that's not racism, you know. I'm, a, I'm We're racist. We're white, you know, racist and stuff like this. I mean, you know. Racists are stupid. I don't care what color they are, black, white, whatever. But uh, next we have a <clears throat> soul seeker. Says, and you're a wannabe Ruckmanite, an anti-miscegenation preacher who compares interracial Christian marriage to sodomite marriages and pedophile. When did I ever do that? <laughs> in other words, you are totally twisted and sick in the head, which is why you preach to your camera and not to real people, because if you preach to real people, you'd end up with a smack in the mouth. I hope a tree falls on your head or a gator eats you, eats when you're out preaching to your forest. Put your head in a bucket, bucket of water three times and pull it out twice. Peter Rutschman. 
uh, okay. Um, uh, now, let me just kind of give you a little lesson here, okay? I'm in northern Maine, Aroostook County, Maine. Um, we don't have alligators here, okay? Uh, you know, unless I'm mistaken, maybe we do, and I just never saw one, you know? You know, these, these northern Maine alligators, you got to look out for them, you know? <laughs> uh, Marauder Red Urum, I guess that's how you say that. Husky 394 XP is an Israeli agent of deception. <clears throat> the KJV was written by Francis Bacon as decoded by Masonic practiced alphanumeric systems, which are all through the holy scri scribes of all major religions. The Bibles that come came before were written by the Calpurnius Piso bloodline and their descendants. Okay, you know, uh, yeah, I'm an Israeli agent of deception. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, so uh, as, as an Israeli uh, agent of deception, I stand for a book, the King James Bible, which he's attacking, that talks about Jesus Christ and the wrath of God coming upon the nation of Israel. And I'm promoting that, so I guess I'm an Israeli agent of deception. And of course, I can just come right out and say I'm not an Israeli agent of deception. I'm not a Jesuit or anything else. You know, I'm just a preacher, whatever, you know. And people still don't believe it, so <laughs> whatever. Uh, <clears throat> next, we have PDES 13. Uh, two of them here. This is the truth about Jack Hiles. All right. They say, I know you're not a Baptist. You're a tree hugger. <laughs> whatever you do, uh, you as well can fall if you don't think that can happen, then there's pride at the door. God, God, people are under attack by Satan. Yeah, I'm a tree hugger. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's why my whole channel is named after a chainsaw. You know. Yes, sir. Tree hugging liberal right here. You know. Just watch my older videos. The first videos I posted with me felling trees, cutting timber. Yeah, I mean, you can you can just take one look at me. You can tell I'm a tree hugger. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> um, was Jeffrey Dahmer a Christian? Thought I hear. Next we have Captain River. Liar, liar! Stop, attach other teachings. Stop, attach other teachings. Hmm. Um, well, I guess that means I'm supposed to do more studies. And maybe put them in playlists? I, uh, stop, attach other teachings. <laughs> Next, we have Michael, Michael Gaming GX. I'm a unsub because, Ma or BC, I guess, because Matthew's chapter is a part of the Bible, and you saying that part of Matthew isn't about the Bible, so you, a liar, get unsub. Uh, maybe you ought to just kind of Hold off on the video games a little bit. I think they're kind of destroying the brain there, you know. Next, we have Outdoors Man. Two comments in a row here from Outdoors Man. The saved are the ones, are the one that dwells the everlasting burnings. You punk, can't you read? Your, you're the liar. You're not saved. You're a fool that is guilty of iniquity. The breaking of the Jewish law, Matthew 24, 12. That's you, punk, breaking God, law, Sabbath, etc. You go and prove Matthew 24, 12 is you breaking the Jewish law, strong concordance. <laughs> wow. I'm so convicted. I mean, that's just, uh, that one right there just got me. You know, I'm just like ready to quit the ministry. <laughs> the next one says here, the outdoors man, number two. Ezekiel 29, 19. Satan will be destroyed and be no more punk. You are so wrong. Your rapture lies your Sunday Pope's day of the sun. That's you. Okay. Um, yeah, this this next one's over. This is this is a good one. Okay, ready? <laughs> That's why I gotta save stuff like this. I can't just let this go. This is just too good. I gotta share with you. Um, mad, mad wax, stirred wax, mad blurg says Bill Gates Pokemon will not take your flat tire off and your iPhone will not Sam Cooper tire either. 
or either, you know. Okay. Um, rubber, jelly, bean, uh, goo, uh, milk, Chevy Camaro. <laughs> I, yeah. Okay. Here you have this uh, Shim Ladders and uh, came out with this video. Brian Denlinger and the Amish Reptilian Modalist Agenda. <laughs> Amish Reptilian Modalist. Oh boy, okay. You know. Uh, next we have uh, this um, Pastor Rod Mattoon. Um, he says here, in defense of Stephen Andersnakes teaming up with this Roman Catholic uh, from the Universal One Church, uh, Oscar, Oscar Bogart, charismatic uh, Catholic renewal movement. He says, P Pastor Rod Mattoon, this is so stupid. Ha, ha, ha. Denlinger is lazy. He doesn't even have a job. Lives off the government. Christopher Hernan writes back, uh, what do you do for work and how does Brian live off the government? Rod Mattoon says, I run a construction company that specializes in building bridges. Why do you ask? Brian, food stamps, government help, even a government phone. Really? Uh, he says here, Christopher Hernan writes back, number one, how do you know Brian is on food stamps? And number two, how do you know he uses a government phone? Rod Mattoon writes back, because I have assisted him in his service. I don't even know who this guy is. I'm like, okay, you know. Hernan writes back, proof, evidence, you knew him in person? I don't fully trust any professing Christian in the Baptist cult system, you know? And uh, it's just like, again, I have no idea who this guy is. I have never been on food stamps. I was on unemployment once in my life. That was way back in the 1990s before I got into wood turning. Um, I had the place I was working at the time um, was not doing real great, Susquehanna Sante Boat Works. And... Um, uh, I had my appendix burst because of the toxicity of the chemicals that we were using. Real nice. And so I went to the hospital. While in the hospital, I get a, basically, uh, I forget if he called or he, one of the guys from work came in to visit me and he said, basically, you're laid off. Okay, don't, when you, you know, you're going to have some plenty of time to recover here because you're laid off. And they said, you can go and get unemployment. At the time, I went and I did it. In hindsight, I shouldn't have done it. I should have just gone and get another job. But that's what happened, excuse me. And, um, you know, that's the only time I've ever gotten any kind of government assistance. I've never been on food stamps. Uh, I, have government, I don't even know what a government phone is. Okay. So, government phone. But see, you know, supporters of Andersnake will just, you know, lie. Big surprise. Okay, next we have Christopher. This is a video I did on Robert Breaker. I, you know, cropped his head onto a picture of a guy holding up, you know, big things of money here. And it says, thumbnail blasphemy, unsubbed, Lord bless you. Okay, now, first of all, I'd like to point out that blasphemy is when somebody attacks God. Okay, you attacking me is not blasphemy. The worst attacks on me that I've read so far, none of them were blasphemy. Okay, you can only blaspheme the Lord. All right, so thumbnail blasphemy, that's saying breakers, your God. Uh, unsubbed, again, oh, who cares, okay? I, your unsubscribing from me does not affect me. I'm not monetized. And then he gets to, ends the thing, Lord bless, Lord bless you. You know, I love that. You know, there, it's like I've had this thing so many times through the years, you know, people attacking me and, you know, you cursed, wicked devil. I hate, I hope you die. I hope this, God bless. You know, it's like. Okay. Next, we have um, two here. Um, Barrel Bow Energies. I've blocked this guy. I don't know how many times. Learn to admonish Brian Denlinger. Brian Denlinger, correction. God is not three separate persons and one in unity. In Brian's false teaching, Brian declared that beasts are limited to body and spirit and are not a soul. It is so that a man and beast have a spirit according to, and he goes on, um, and then it says, Brian Denlinger, correction. God is not three separate persons and one in unity. In Brian's false teaching. Now look at the two comments. Bill Altier 
and Barrelbow Energy Bar Energies, they're uh, posting pretty much the same thing on the same video. I've been dealing with this thing for years and years and years and years and years. These people, they're just like so many different channels that they create and they'll be logging in and out of them posting comments to having conversations with each other and you know i realize it could be artificial intelligence too it could be just computers doing this i have no idea but uh i thought this was funny this little teenager you know one of Anders snake's followers little kid and he's like you know just cracks me up look at this david robinson you're stupid brian you clearly don't understand the post-trib system. We're here for the tribulation period and we're taken out before Revelation 6 takes its course. <laughs> oh boy. As for that, 1 Timothy 5, 8 and Revelation 14 thing, uh, you can grow your own crops. These videos you do, do are all a crook, crock of baloney and prove nothing. You're a joke, Brian. You know that. You are horrible at debunking your opponents and, are, and or proving what you believe. Why don't you go ahead and answer Matthew 24, 29? I write back. I already have answered Matthew 24, 29. Right there's the link to the thing. Um, immediately after the tribulations. Anders Snake, little game. You believe that you are taken out, quote, before Revelation 6 takes its course? That is the pre-trib system. Christians in heaven in Revelation chapter 5. Revelation 6 starts the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay, Revelation 6, 1 through 2 is Jesus opening the first seal and unleashing the Antichrist. No Christian will be there to see that happen on the earth. Why? You know, why? Because Christians are in heaven in Revelation 5, 9 through 14 before the events of chapter 6. Christians can grow your own crops. Do you grow all that you eat in a year right now? No. Then what makes you think you will be able to do so with world war, peace removed from the earth, famine and death and hell? covering the face of the earth give me a break please get truly saved time is almost up and that's what that kid's problem is he needs to get truly saved he's a big mouth little brat with a poor upbringing obviously but i mean poor as in morally poor um next we have on the thing of plea to stephen anderson's followers to not use profanity anthony yethimov writes your videos are profanity themselves you're weak Okay, I think we have a little hard time understanding what profanity means. Um, you know, just thought that was kind of interesting. Next we have uh, Clarence702. He says, I want to ask, do you really even read the Bible? Because if the true Jews in Israel, where is the Messiah? Where is the Father? I mean, you have to read the truth scripture to even believe this nonsense that you're spilling out and you're talking about are you redo the the right to be the twenty eight to be twenty eight the curses that the Maldi people or that the Maldi put on his people for not obeying God? Does like people have never been a slave ships? They've never been to detail, not the head. I mean, come on, man! All the evidence is there if you truly open your eyes and really, like you spew hate. Does anybody know what he was talking about there? I mean, it's like, oh. Okay, yeah. All right, yeah. Sure. Now another wingnut here. We have Timothy Allen Campbell. Go, Timothy. The two witnesses is not Moses, Elijah, or Enoch. The two witnesses that it's talking about in the, the last days. Last time I checked, the world did not end with Moses, Elijah, or Enoch. This is the end. God already told me that if worse comes to worse, the entire earth will be destroyed and a new one created. That's if people don't repent from the works of their hands in the book of Revelation. You are making devils idols. One human life is worth more than all the automobiles you created with your jobs. If you don't believe that, you can't be saved. <laughs> okay. If the Lord has not built it, men labor in vain. Psalm 127 verse 1. Jesus came to set men free from jobs. <laughs> okay. If you have a job, you're serving the devil. Money is the mark of the beast. The seven dead presidents on money is the seven-headed beast that was and is not and yet is. You cannot buy or sell without receiving the mark of the beast. Jesus is God. I am the Messiah. 
<laughs> okay. Google, go Timothy. The two witnesses are the two people I prepared to see God. You cannot see God without being instructed by the Messiah. I'd like to send him a plaque or something just with a, a, a bolt and a wing nut on it. You know, wing nut of the year award. But, uh, <laughs> if you have a job, you're serving the devil. Yeah, boy. Okay, <laughs> sure. Yes, sir. thank you there, uh, Messiah. <laughs> yeah, boy. Um, but just have a little fun there with the comments. But I want to read a psalm here. We read through this the other day. We're going through the book of Psalms. And um, just to kind of help you out there, because I know if you're doing any kind of videos, you're getting attacked. Maybe not. You, you might not be getting some of the wing nets that I get, but you know, I'm sure you've gotten some pretty harsh attacks. Um, Psalm 59. Deliver me from mine enemies, O my God. Defend me from them that rise up against me. Deliver me from the workers of iniquity, and save me from bloody men. For lo, they lie in wait for my soul. The mighty are gathered against me, not for my transgression, nor for my sin, O Lord. They run and prepare themselves without my fault. Awake to help me, and behold. Thou therefore, O Lord God of hosts, the God of Israel, awake to visit all the heathen. Be not merciful to any wicked transgressors. Selah. They return at evening, they make a noise like a dog, and go round about the city. Behold, they belch out with their mouth, swords are in their lips, for who, say they, doth hear? But thou, O Lord, shalt laugh at, the, at them, thou shalt have all the heathen in derision. You know, some of the stuff these people say is just so filthy, it's just horrible. But God's going to take care of it. Verse 9, Because of his strength will I wait upon thee, for God is my defense. The God of my mercy shall prevent me. God shall let me see my desire upon mine enemies. Slay them not, lest my people forget. Scatter them by thy power, and bring them down, O Lord, our shield. For the sin of their mouth and the words of their lips, let them even be taken in their pride, and for cursing and lying which they speak. Consume them in wrath, consume them, that they may not be, and let, the, let them know the, that God ruleth in Jacob unto the ends of the earth. Selah. Interesting, we're in the end times. Thought that was interesting. And at evening, let them return and let them make a noise like a dog and go round about the city. Let them wander, wander up and down for meat and grudge if they be not satisfied. But I will sing of thy power, yea, I will sing aloud of thy mercy in the morning. For thou hast been my defense and refuge in the day of my trouble. Unto thee, O my strength, will I sing, for God is my defense and the God of my mercy. Great comfort. There are some really vile people out there today, brethren. You've experienced them. I experience them a lot. And, uh, you know, we should always remember our love needs to be there first. Uh, we need to, to be ready to, to witness to these people and offer them salvation. I mean, you can clearly see these people writing this stuff are just lost. Um, just terrible, terrible people out there just so filled with hate and things. And, uh, you know, witness to them, certainly. Um, but when they just continually to, to revile you and just make threats against you and everything else, you know, remember that God's judgment is coming upon them. And um, I don't believe for one minute that it's, a, that it's somehow sinful or something like that to say, you know what, I'm looking forward to the day when God judges these wicked, vile people. Um, they don't want to get saved. That's what's coming that's what's going to happen. Our God is a God of justice and judgment. And if you refuse to take uh, Jesus Christ as your Savior, then uh, I'm looking forward to justice being brought on these wicked people and God's judgment to fall upon them very harshly. And I've seen it over the years. I've seen people um, that have just absolutely lied about me, absolutely just, just so hateful and just such horrible people that have devised, literally devised my hurt. I mean, I've seen people saying literally that, um, you know, they, they want to see me dead. And uh, there was some witch that was actually telling people to call CPS. She said that she had called CPS, try to get them to take my son from me. And I heard recently that uh, she had a heart attack in the hospital, critical condition. 
What do I have to think about that? Not a whole lot, really. Uh, she had chances to get saved. She had chances. I mean, you don't have to listen to me. My word. I'm not the end-all answer to everything or whatever else. You know, uh, find somebody else. Find somebody else that preaches from the King James Bible. But this, this hateful, just terrible stuff that you want to do to me and things like this, God's judgment's coming upon you. All right? So, just wanted to make this video, to just most, mostly to read that scripture there, Psalm 59, just a reminder that what people are doing to you, what people are saying about you and things like that, God's going to bring it all into judgment and, and you're going to see justice one day for that. But uh, just to show you some of the ridiculous stuff that we deal with here on a regular basis and, you know, those comments, I just, I mean, they just going through them. I mean, I, I just, every once in a while I'll get a good one and I just have to save it and stuff. So, uh, that is going to be it. Um, please do keep us in your prayers. And uh, I guess we'll see you in the next video.